Hey, I'm Joe with Inch Calculator, and today we're going to talk about how to convert kilometers to miles. I'll show you three different ways to convert, and one of them is so easy you can do it in your head. Let's get started. Kilometers are an SI metric unit of length used around the world to measure long distances. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, and it's denoted with the letters KM. Miles are a U.S. customary unit of measure equal to 5,280 feet. They're denoted with the letters MI. All right, let's go through the first method to convert kilometers to miles. The first part of this method is to find the conversion ratio. The conversion ratio is the rate of kilometers to miles, and it's important for doing the conversion. The conversion ratio for kilometers to miles is 0 0.621371, since there are 0 0.621371 miles in one kilometer. To convert kilometers to miles, you can simply multiply the measurement in kilometers by 0 0.621371, since that's the conversion ratio. Unless you're an expert at doing complex multiplication in your head, you'll probably need a calculator for this method. Let's try an example to demonstrate how it works. Let's walk through how to convert 5 kilometers to miles. To get the answer, multiply the length in kilometers by 0 0.621371. So, 5 kilometers times 0 0.621371 is equal to 3.106855 miles. That conversion isn't too terribly difficult, but you'll need a calculator and you need to remember that conversion ratio to use it. There's a way to do the conversion from kilometers to miles that's much easier and doesn't require a calculator at all. You can use this method of converting in three easy steps. The first step is to divide the kilometers by 2. Then divide the kilometers by 10. Finally, add the two together and get the result in miles. Let's try using this method to convert 5 kilometers to miles. Divide 5 by 2, which is equal to 2.5. Then divide 5 by 10, which is equal to 0 0.5. And finally, add 2.5 to 0 0.5, which is equal to 3 miles. As you can see, this result is not as precise as the first method, but it's pretty darn close, and it's something you can easily do in your head without a calculator. Let us know what you think about this trick in the comments below, and if you found it useful, please don't forget to like the video. Our final method for converting kilometers to miles is to use a conversion calculator like this one at inchcalculator.com. Easily convert any value if you're in a hurry, and stay around to learn more about the process if you have time. I'll add a link to the description for that tool and some other helpful resources. Before I go, I wanted to mention one more thing. When you're working with kilometers, you might see it spelled a little differently like this. This is the official spelling used outside the United States. And that's how you convert kilometers to miles. We hope this helped you out. Don't forget to like the video. And feel free to check out this other video on how to convert miles back to kilometers.